Thank you, Kazim. So last Thursday, I was in my cave, like Mr. Brichot said, because I was studying for my CPA. Now, I was frantically studying for this exam. I had put over 150 hours into testing and to study. And I received an email from Ashley Martinez saying that today there's going to be a speakathon. She gave the topic, which was, what are my goals and what motivates me? And what motivates me? I'm sorry, but I ignored the email. <laughs> Most of us do. <laughs> but I kept studying. I kept studying, and I couldn't get out of my head. What is it that motivates me? What is my goal? So I let everything go. I sat back. I was in my office, just thinking, looking up at the, the roof. And I thought, it's been four and a half years that I've been in the university. When I came in as a freshman, coming from high school, I wanted to be the ultimate businessman. I wanted to be Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, and Warren Buffett combined. <laughs> That's over $150 billion in net worth. That's a lot of money. I wanted to graduate with three or four Ferraris and two or three mansions. And by the time I got to my graduate degree, I wanted to have a yacht and a helicopter. <laughs> now, I'm exaggerating, but we all had those dreams of making it big, making money. That's why most of us come to college thinking, oh, we're going to make a lot more money just because we have this title. Now, the reason why I was able to think that way is because all my life, my parents have provided for me, and they built this fort. Like nothing could affect me. You know? There's nothing that could come in. There's nothing that could hurt me. But what happens when that fort is invaded? Invaded by a force you can't control, you can't stop. About a year and a half ago, my dad was diagnosed uh -huh. my father was diagnosed with a bone disease because of his diabetes. He never took care of himself because he was always working, wanted to make money to provide for me and my brother. My mother also got an infection and she had arthritis. My form collapsed. I found no security whatsoever. Thank God they're, they're good, nothing happened. I mean, they got through the treatment, and everything's okay. But it opened my eyes. I was 22. I'm in college, thinking that I'm going for a better future. There's nothing that can get in the way, and this happens. What does it make me do? Make me look back and reconsider what really is important in life. Why do you want a Ferrari when there's no one there to ride it with you? Why do you want a 15-room mansion when there's no one to share the room with? I quickly realized that money isn't everything in life. We all want to become investment bankers. In my case, I want to go into public accounting. Why do I want that money? Why am I working 70, 80, 90 hours more a week? The end is all worthless. If you're not creating memories, if you're not hanging out with your friends, with your family, what do you want anymore? So, I thought of the question, and I came up with answers. What is my goal? Well, I want for money to be a businessman. Having all this money is absolutely not caring whether I make money or not. Yeah, I want to make a living, but I'd rather be a family man. No, a family man is not 
having 15 kids in a minivan. <laughs> <laughs> family man is someone that is a role model, provides for his family, creates memories, and provides for the community. And what motivates me? Those memories, those memories that I will be creating in the process of being a family. Thank you.